Hey everybody, this is Brett with Brett's Auto Reviews and I am super excited to go over this brand new 2023 Jeep Gladiator Mojave. I'm gonna go over everything that makes this vehicle a Mojave. It's not just a bunch of stickers and special tow hooks. Uh, there's a lot that goes into this Gladiator that makes it special from all the other Gladiators out there. And we're gonna get into all of that right now. So grab your coffee and let's get to it. So they built the Mojave package with desert terrain in mind and going at high speeds on that desert terrain. So the first way that they accomplished this was Jeep put these Falcon Wild Peak AT tires on here. These are LT28570 R17s. And this tread pattern is designed to go off-roading in the desert in very sandy conditions. And that's where it all starts because this is the only point of the vehicle that actually touches the terrain. So they wanted to make sure that they had the right tires on this vehicle. Now, the other thing that you'll notice on the Mojave package is that the uh, front fenders are a little bit higher clearance than normal gladiators and they did that. So if you're off-roading in the desert, getting a lot of bounce there, that they're not gonna interfere with those tires. You also get the Mojave sticker on the side. It's all outlined in orange as are the tow hooks. And you also get the sport simulated hood scoop. That's not an actually functional hood scoop, but it is simulated and it looks really cool. Now the next part that, they, that Jeep did for the Mojave package is on the suspension. I'm gonna get the camera a little bit closer to go over that right now. So I really like this shot right here. And uh, this is because this is really what makes a Mojave a Mojave for the most part is the front suspension. And you can see just about everything that they've done in this shot. So the first thing that you'll notice is that you get a one inch suspension lift on the front end of the Mojave package. It also comes with the Fox two and a half inch internal bypass shocks with the reservoirs. Now the reservoirs are down here and you'll notice that you get this line that comes around to them. What that does is it keeps the fluid outside of the shock. So when you're off-roading in the desert, things get really hot and you wanna keep that fluid cool so you keep it away from the shock and the heat and all the stuff that's going on right there. Uh, you also get the hydraulic jounce bumpers on here. And uh, these jounce bumpers are you know, meant to absorb shocks and everything a little bit better than the uh, just normal bumpers on here. And you can also see, if you look right here, there's a skid plate. So you get the skid plate on the front suspension parts. You also get a skid plate on the transfer case and the 22 gallon fuel tank. So those are the main differences that you can see. Now these also have a wide track front 44 inch Dana axle. Um, or it's a wider track than all the other gladiators out there. On the front axles, you get cast iron steering knuckles as well, which uh, adds to the durability of the front end when you're off-roading in the desert. The other thing that you'll notice with the Mojave package is that the frame has been reinforced where all the shocks connect to it. So a little bit beefier welds, a little bit bigger brackets and everything in there as well. So those are the main differences on the front end of the Mojave package and all of that with the tires and the suspension and all the skid plates is to maximize the durability and capability in off-road desert situations. Um, so let's go to the back because there are some things in the back as well that uh, contribute to the off-roading capabilities of this truck. So there's a couple things to get from this shot right here. The first is that you get the protection sill rails on here. And if you're going off-roading in the desert, chances are you might hit a rock or something. This just protects the body of the vehicle from getting damaged if you do hit one of those obstacles. The other thing you're gonna notice right here from this shot is the rear shocks, the Fox two and a half inch internal bypass. This is your reservoir right here. The other thing with these shocks is that they use a high-tech hydraulic bump stop and uh, most trucks use a simple low-tech piece of rubber or polyurethane as the suspension's last point or last stop before braking. So that's a pretty nice uh, system to have as well. Now I don't know if you can see it right here from this shot, but the uh, shocks, the mounts are a little bit beefier uh, than any other 
shocks that you'd find on any other gladiator. So uh, those are the main points from this shot right here. Also note you get the four wheel disc brakes on the gladiators. So this is looking forward from the back of the vehicle. And the other thing that the Mojave gives you uh, over all the other gladiators is the beefier rear track bar. Um, over all the other Gladiator models, it's a little bit thicker than any of the other models. Back here, you also get the locking rear axle, which is specific to the Mojave package. You also get a full-size spare tire to uh, match the tread pattern to those Falcon Wild Peak tires. So those are the main suspension differences on the Mojave, and we'll get into some of the interior differences right now. So before we get into the interior and the original window sticker and all that good stuff, I just wanted to go over some of the specs and dimensions on this particular Jeep Gladiator Mojave. This one comes with the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine, 285 horsepower, 260 foot pounds of torque. It's gonna to get you 22 miles per gallon on the highway, 17 city for an average of 19 miles per gallon. The Mojave package can tow up to 4,500 pounds, has a max payload of 1,200 pounds, and it also has a five foot box, 22 gallon fuel tank, 17 inch wheels, the LT285 70R17 Wild Peak tires. And let's go check out the original window sticker and all the interior features that make the Mojave a Mojave. So the first thing that you're gonna notice on the Mojave interior is going to be all the orange accents. You get the Mojave stitched into the backrest. You get the accents on the seats. You get the accents on the handle. Uh, you get the orange accents on the air vents on the dash as well as the dash trim and door trim here and on the steering wheel. Now the things you might not notice is that these seats are have sport bolsters so when you're on when you're doing desert off-roading and you're bouncing around in the truck these are going to hold you in the seat a little bit better um, than the normal gladiator seats also got a little bit of extra bolstering on the seat part as well. The other thing you might not notice is that this steering wheel is thicker uh, for better grip, better control when you're being tossed around in the desert. So two of the cool things that I really like about the Mojave package on the interior. The other thing I really like is that you get this mineral gray dash and of course you get the orange air vent uh, inserts there, but this dash is actually textured. So it's really cool. Uh, it's almost like sand, I guess you could say, um, underneath the paint. So that's a really cool addition on there. The other thing with the Mojave package is that you get that rear locking axle. Um, now you can only lock the rear, but you also get off-road mode plus or off-road plus mode. So that uh, changes the shift points, gives you better throttle response as well um, when you're doing off-roading things. You can also lock the rear axle and uh, be in four-wheel drive. So that's the other thing that uh, the off-road plus mode gives you. So those are, those are the main differences on here. Otherwise, it's just a normal Gladiator with all the controls there. Uh, you do get speed select control as well. And uh, you get the off-road pages on the radio and everything like that. But otherwise, it's just your normal Gladiator interior with the removable hardtop, removable rear hardtop, and the uh, sliding rear window. So really nice interior. We'll go over some of the outside differences as far as aesthetics go, and then we'll be So able to starting off in the front, the first thing that's different on the Mojave is going to be aesthetically is gonna be these tow hooks. They are orange and they are powder coated. Um, you get those on the front and the rear. This one does have the satin black. That's not really a Mojave thing. That's just a Jeep thing. Um, this one has the simulated hood scoop. This is not functional, uh, but it does look really good. You also get the Mojave stickers on the hood outlined in orange. Now those are just stickers. So if you didn't like them, you could always take them off. And then you also get the orange outline on the Jeep. You also get the orange outline on the deserated badge right there. And then of course the rock sills, which we discussed before, those are special to the Mojave package. 
You can also get them on the Rubicon. Um, and then these special wheels and tires. This one, there, your orange tow hooks on the back. Note that you do get that gray lettering with the orange outline on the Jeep there. And uh, this one comes with a spray and bed liner, not specific to the Mojave, but nice to show that anyways. LED bed lights as well. There's your trifold tonneau cover by Mopar. And uh, those are the main differences on the Mojave aesthetically. Just a couple little color accents on there to differentiate it from the normal gladiators. So as promised, here is the original window sticker. I'm not gonna go through everything, um, but most of it, but feel free to pause this at any point if you want. So this is a 2023 Jeep Gladiator Mojave, the 3.6 liter, eight speed automatic transmission, high velocity clear coat is this one's color. Um, everything on your left is your standard equipment for the Mojave package, including the Jeep Wave membership, uh, the backup camera, the Fox two and a half inch, performance internal bypass shocks, the performance hydro balance bumpers, the true lock rear axle, cab rock rails, heavy duty Dana 44 front and rear axle, 410 gears, 17 by seven and a half inch low gloss black aluminum wheels. Now remember that these are superseded by these low gloss black with machine wheels, 1245 option on here. Uh, you get the fuel tank skid plate, the command track part-time four wheel drive system, those 33 inch Falcon Wild Peak tires, on there as well. The transfer case skid plate, the front bumper skid plate, the terrain specific off-road plus mode. You get these seven and four pin wiring harness, electronic trailer sway control, and Torx toolkit, push button start, all that good stuff. There's your interior options. This one does have the 8.4 with the nav system, um, 4C radio. Also the Alpine premium sound system. Now your optional equipment on here is your high velocity Clear coat, which is $4.95. The leather trim bucket seats with sport bolsters are $19.95. Also gives you the full length floor console with premium armrest, full uh, the leather wrap park brake handle, and the leather wrap shift knob. Trailer tow package is $8.95, gives you the receiver hitch and the trailer hitch zoom. Cold weather group is $13.45, which gives you heated front seats, heated steering wheel, and remote start. The bright door sill guards by Mopar $1.95. Did want to show those because they are right there, they look pretty good. Um, you also get the soft trifold tonneau cover by Mopar, which is 16 or 625 eight speed automatic transmission body colored three piece hardtop is 2895 quite a lot for that color match hardtop. The satin black grill by Mopar is 195 body color fender flares are 995. The wireless speaker is 445 and then those special wheels are 1245 and the spring bed liner is 525. Total MSRP on this Gladiator is 66640. And once again, want to thank Summit Automotive for letting me do this video. And if you want to get the rebates and incentives and availability on this particular Gladiator, uh, the link is in the description below to uh, get to the website, to this vehicle on the website if it's still available. So go check it out there. Ask, uh, you can either ask me or Brock, my guy Brock, to... Uh, Help you out with this one. Three-year 36 bumper to bumper and five-year 60 powertrain. 17 city, 22 highway, and 19 average. Your crash test ratings are four and five stars for front and rollover of three. So the, that's the original window sticker. And uh, let's go on to the next part. Hey, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned a little bit about the 2023 Jeep Gladiator Mojave. I think Jeep did a fantastic job on this vehicle all the way around from aesthetics to functionality to the interior to everything, the wheels, the tires, the suspension, all really, really nicely done to do what it's made to do and that's off-roading in the desert mainly, but it also looks pretty good too. And uh, thanks again to Summit for allowing me to do some videos here of their great inventory. You can check me out on my other YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash Summit Auto. I do walk around videos for Summit every day on these great Jeeps and other inventory we have on there. So check me out there. Remember to like, subscribe, and share, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Until our next coffee, have a great day, and thanks again.